Let's go ahead and tell the Odysseus to attack. Yep, and and the Osakas are now also zeroing in. Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and I have a lot to update you on. Um, so, let's see here. Let's start with what's going on right now. Uh, in front of me, uh, over yonder there, you guys might not be able to see it very well in the video, is the cock outpost uh, or installation in Grand Exchange. Oh, there's one there, too. Okay. Uh, in Grand Exchange 1, and I guess we have one in 3 as well. Uh, so we're going to take that out in this episode. Uh, but before we get going on that, uh, I've made quite a bit of changes. I am super low on money. I'm only at 4.3 million right now. Uh, and that's because I've spent a ton of money. So let's start with our traders. We now have 10 advanced traders. Um, and I've got them in the locations that their fleet names um, depict. So that way, you know, I kind of keep track of who, who's where and so forth. And each one of these guys have uh, five Noden Vanguard fighters protecting them. Um, their default orders are if they get attacked by an enemy to escape and deploy, uh, deploy a laser tower. If they get attacked by a pirate, then to attack the pirate back. And I also have set them on uh, automatic resupply at the medium level. Um, so that way, if they run out of laser towers, they get, they get their own laser towers back. At least I'm assuming that's how that works. What the heck going on over here? Yeah, it's just more cock being a pain in the butt. So that's why we got to deal with these guys. Um, so, yeah, we have 10 auto traders. I still have more traders in the pool um, that are three star, but I just don't have enough money to buy any more uh, trading ships at the moment. So we've got to wait and kind of build our money back up a little bit and then we'll also get them them going. But you know, once we get I mean even 10 auto traders is nice because I've only been running five. Uh, but once we get even more then the money's really going to start coming in from the trading. Uh, okay, so I got that done. Um, my fleet is pretty impressive right now. I went ahead and purchased four Osaka's and I just um, went and got all of the metal, uh, whatever the heck that stuff was. It's basically the Terrence version of hull parts. Um, just sent a bunch of traders over to gather all that and take it to the shipyard. Uh, so yeah, I purchased four Osaka's. Um, their loadouts are as follows. We have, you know, of course, the Terran main batteries. We have three Argon plasma turrets in the large, and then um, four flak and two beam turrets in the mediums. And they are all set to, uh, the plasmas are set to attack capital ships, and the flak are set to attack fighters. Um, and then each one of these Osakas have a wing of 10 uh, she fighters uh, that are set uh, by default to interception. Um, so each one has, like, as you can see there, a wing of 10 to help them, help protect them against um, fighters themselves. Even though, I mean, with the turret setup, the Osakas would probably be able to hold their own under most circumstances, but not if we get in, like, a big, a big battle against the Xenon. I've got uh, the Katana and the Rattlesnake currently in a defense uh, wing. And I'm I'm piloting Odysseus one, uh, so that's like our flagship. Uh, let's see. And then I have my Chimeras on intercept, directly assigned to the Odysseus. I did purchase a Gian, and I have that docked on top of the Odysseus. And um, if we uh, take the external view on that, uh, Gian, I guess if that's how you pronounce it. But this this is a medium gunboat. Well, I guess all gunboats are medium in this game, but it's got six flak turrets on it. So basically adds six additional turrets to the Odysseus uh, over and above what it already has. Um, and once, you know, once we get an Asgard 
then we'll also dock one of these on the Asgard too. Um, it is in my plans to get a support ship, and I'll probably, when I do that, I'll probably get an Atlas, and then we can do the same thing. We can dock these ships on Atlas and add six more turrets to the Atlas, too. Uh, I, but again, I, I just can't afford to do that right at the moment. This is a very temporary situation, though. We're going to really start making money here crazy with all these traders. Let's look at something, though. Oh, um, I was asked to drop my cargo. All right. Who are you? Trader Seven. Okay, we need to we need to help Trader Seven out. So he should be. So he's he's trading in Tilati space, but he's down in Cardinal's Redress at the moment. Here, let me just double check. I didn't misassign that. Yeah, he's assigned to he was twin. Okay, so. He's down here. Why is he down there? Uh, how in the hell is he down there? He should be up here. I don't know. I don't get that. That's way far away from his anchor space. Also, he's... Oh, well, if he's getting attacked by a pirate, then that's why he's attacking. Um, wait a second. No. Why does this say he's in Cardinal's Redress? He's in... He was Twin 2. I'm, like, so confused right now. Okay, so this is probably just a a raider, a minotaur. So he will he should attack them. I this is what threw me off though. I don't know why that says he's in Cardinal's redress, because he's not. So that's just really weird. I do actually have a Trader 9 assigned to Cardinal's Redress. Um so I don't know why that one says Cardinal's Redress. That is just weird. Okay, so he should be able to to take on this Minotaur without too much difficulty. It's the um, it's the uh, the Buck Buccaneer Pirates trader that Prometheus, yeah, the Prometheus trader that scares me the most because that thing is wicked dangerous. Um, it's it's kind of a fifty fifty whether or not this setup, you know, because these are cormorants and they're pretty well armed too for a trading ship. Uh, but it's kind of a 50-50 situation if they can win against them. Um, what are you guys doing? You're just on a leisurely break, huh? Let's give you a direct order to attack him. Just watch the show here. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's take... Where are we at? He was twin. I'm going to have to send you to... I don't think there's anything that way, so we're going to have to send him back to here to repair. Okay, so that went uh, reasonably well. Um, all right, so back to what we were talking about. Uh, I have... Awaiting I, orders. I am now level 20 with Holy Order. Just haven't gotten over there yet. And we hit level 20 with... 
uh, Antigone. Oh, no, we haven't. Never mind. Here, let's look at this, actually. Oh, the free families. Yeah, okay, so we, we hit level 10 with free families and level 20 with holy order. So, and with free families, uh, we're already at 17 because those couriers are just knocking it out of the park with getting their rep up. They're really good at, at that purpose. Um, Yeah, so, so we got to go get those promotions done here soon, but that's not our highest priority right now. Okay, let's go back and look at our fleet again for a second. So... So we have, um, I've got the, the Cerberus, the Dragon, and the Nemesis just on patrol around our headquarters. And when pirates come around causing trouble, I just send them all after them and go kill them. Uh, but our fleet, so we got the Odysseus as the flagship. We have four Osakas as they're basically our uh, attacking ships, I guess. You, uh, and I do have the Rattlesnake here too, but the Rattlesnake, I hesitate to let the AI handle the rattlesnake. Um, if anything, I should probably be jumping in that if I'm going to send it against a station. At least a station that hasn't yet, you know, t had its guns or something taken out. Um, and then I got the chimeras here in an intercept group. But I can, I can also, and may also control them directly, give them direct orders. And then we, oh yeah, we were talking about the gene and then of course I got my scout. All right, so we are going to take on this cock base. Now, you guys were telling me in the comments. Uh, yeah, see, the, we got, it's the stupid cocks. Um, you guys tell me in the comments that when you attack a cock base, what they do is they send 15 fighters out, and if you don't kill... Uh, well, after, after a certain period of time, then they send another wave of 15, and then after a certain period of time, they send another wave of 15. So... Um, you know, knowing that, we're going to have to make sure that we um, kill the 15 that come out before the next 15 come out until, of course, we ultimately get the station down. All right, so let's go ahead and start advancing. Okay, we're going to stop about 30 kilometers out, and we're going to make a couple changes here for this attack. Um, I don't, yeah, um, I, I've tried this a, a few times, you know, just station attacks off camera in quote unquote, the simulator, <laughs> uh, and it's really hard to get the, the fighters to behave <coughs> and not go after the station. Cause if they go after the station, they get annihilated. So what I think I'm going to do is. I mean, we might not even need the fighters. The more I think about it. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to assign them all temporarily to the katana. I was thinking about using the katana to lay some laser towers down first, but I don't. I I, I, just, I just I don't think we're going to need to do that. Um, hopefully I'm right about that. So yeah, okay, let's um remove you from the group. And then I want all of the fighters to mimic commander's behavior, and I'll show you why I'm doing it that way in a moment. Um Okay. And let's also I'm going to move the rattlesnake into the attack group. And then let's grab all of the fighters, uh, Osaka's fighters, and put them with the katana in mimic commander's behavior. And because of the way that I named them, it, uh, it won't be difficult for me to reassign them back where they're supposed to go at the end of all of this. At least that's the theory. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tell the Katana to 
to protect position. In about a 20, and we'll say a 15 kilometer radius. Yeah, that looks good. Um, and we want to kind of hold them back a bit. But, you know, they have them available to us in case we, I feel like we need them, but I don't want them getting near the station is the thing. So, theoretically, they should now stay within this radius and not try to attack the station. That is the theory anyways. Okay, now, um, I want... Where's the rattlesnake? the rattlesnake to come assigned to new commander. No, don't do that. There, I want to kind of try and line up the ships a little bit. <clears throat> because if you don't do this, I've noticed that they will kind of pile up on each other and make a mess. So we're going to kind of come at it from in a, a bit of a line here. Okay, so let's um unpause and just hold hold still here for a minute. What is that fighter doing? I don't know. Hopefully it's going back. Yeah, they're all coming back to mimic the katana. I think. Do I see one over there? No. I don't. So, again, this, this kind of keeps them out of the way. Tells them not to attack the station, but they're close enough to us to where if we, if we feel like we need them, I can call them back in. So hopefully this will work. All right, now, I need to control the rattlesnake because of its range. Awaiting orders. You're not going outside of your range there, are you? So what I'm going to do is the Odysseus has hold position. Okay, good. Okay, so let's um, teleport the rattlesnake. Okay, now, in theory... Because the Osakas are attacking with Commander, if I tell the Odysseus to start attacking the station, then the Osakas should follow suit. Um, is the station considered a capital ship? I don't know if it is or not. I'm going to put these on attack my current enemy. What we don't want to do is we don't want to put the the, the closer range weapons on. Uh, or we want to keep them on attack fighters so that they don't try and use them on the station. Because otherwise they'll try and get in range and then they'll be too close. If you guys know if attack capital ships is the same as attack stations... Uh, definitely let me know that in the comments. I'm not sure if it is or not. Okay, so let's go ahead and tell the Odysseus to attack. Yep, and, and the, the Osakas are now also zeroing in. Okay. And we will move in on the rattle uh, in the rattlesnake. What are my turrets set to? Yeah, attack my current enemy. There we go. Um, these should actually be just on attack fighters. Okay, let's try this and see what happens. Go 
There you go. The hull's already down to 98%. We haven't even gotten there with the ship with the best guns. I'm just kind of going in slow and watching what the AI does first. Okay, here comes the fighters. The station's already down to 90%. We haven't even gotten there yet. That's good. Oh, look at that. We already blew up part of it. Nice. We have to close within about six and a half kilometers or so for the main battery to work. something real quick yeah see this is actually working out really well because those fighters are running right into our group here and then they're just getting pulverized uh, that's really good and you know if we have a few here and there focusing in on the uh, destroyers that doesn't matter they're, they're not gonna do anything to them it's only if we had like a huge swarm then we would be concerned about that and that's why again I have the fighters ready to go if I need them, but I don't think we will. This is working pretty good so far. The station's already at 86% hull. Wait for our main batteries to cool down and then we'll do another barrage. Internal view here. need to switch out some of the turrets on the rattlesnake to black. They're all laser at this point. I mean, they get the job done, but it'd be a little more effective if we had some black too, I think. Ready to trade. Seven percent. We're getting it done. Fifty percent. Forty percent. Thirty percent. Twenty percent. Ten percent. Five percent. Three percent. Two percent. One percent. And zero percent. And there it goes. Do these stations not explode? If they don't, then we could maybe bring uh, Protector. the fighters in at least. Well, no, yeah, we could bring the fighters in. 
course, I think they have they do have lasers turrets though, which are would be kind of hard on the fighters. Okay, that was very successful. Um, quite pleased with how that all turned out. So I'm wondering if what what I might do. Thanks for your help. I can't afford to do this right at the moment, um, but what I'm thinking is maybe we get a katana assigned to each Osaka and even one to the rattlesnake. And then we assign the fighters to the katanas and, you know, just normal, n normal... Oh, wow, this fighter definitely took some damage, but we still have him. Um, have them, you know, normally be on, on interception, but then when we get ready to attack a station, we just switch them over to Mimic. It, it'll, it'll just be easier than me pulling them out of their groups, reassigning them, and then putting them back in their groups afterwards is what I'm trying to say. Um... So yeah, that was great. All right, uh, next is this cock installation. So we're going to basically wash, rinse, repeat, and get rid of that son of a gun. And hopefully that'll take care of them for now. They, they'll probably come back again later, but I was told by you guys in the comments that if I don't deal with it, it, it just escalates and gets worse. Um, so I will meet you guys over there and we'll do the same thing again. We're at the next. Uh, cock insulation here. So I'm just waiting for the rest of the group to catch up. Um, we should be able to set up the... It's the... Oh yeah, that's the katana right there. Okay. So yeah, let's set up the katana again with a... Here, remove that and protect position. Make it 20 kilometer radius. And actually, let's make it 15. I think that's what I had it at the last time. That worked pretty good. And uh, put it right, probably about to there, I'm thinking. Okay. So, yeah, we're just waiting for. Um, the rest of the fleet to catch up to us and then once they get here we'll start the barrage look at that xenon are fighting a cot that's cool we just got out of our radar range okay we're gonna do the same thing where we're gonna kind of line everybody up am i still in Set about. Okay, so uh, let's do the same thing. We're gonna hop over to the rattlesnake. Awaiting orders. Ooh. All of a sudden, like super framey here. Hello. It acts like it's in still in set mode. But I turned it off. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, let's get this party started. So we're gonna tell the Odysseus to attack the station. All right, why aren't the Osaka's joining it? Oh, because they're still in the fly and wait thingy. So let's just tell them remove all orders. Uh, okay, now try this again. Attack. There we go. Okay, that's what we wanted to do.
Okay, let's do this again. Are the other guys moving? I think so. He's turned the wrong way. We'll use Seta to get him turned around quickly. What the hell is he spinning around for? Oh, for goodness sakes. All right, I'm going to have to... Uh What is your major issue, dude? Get out of there. Piss me off. up the attack when I switch back. Awaiting orders. Run it away. Seriously, dude? No. You're supposed to be my flagship. Knock that shit off. All right. Ugh. I know the game just does the commands that it has. I get that, but sometimes it's just. It's my fault. <laughs> but still, it's frustrating. <coughs> There's no two ways about it. Okay. So, override fleeing and get back to attacking. I was wondering why everybody looked like they were taking off, because they actually were taking off. Okay. I think we're in business now. Oh, part of it's already blown up. Nice. Or destroyed, I guess. It doesn't it doesn't seem like it blows up. Eighty percent. Ninety-nine percent. I should be using Seta to recharge my main guns. Time my other destroyers get back here, I'm gonna have this place blown up. What the frig are you guys doing? Get over here. Well, let's set these guys on. I'm going to tell the Osakas to attack directly because it appears like if the Odysseus derps out, then they do too, since they're supposed to be following him, his attack. It worked really well the first time we did it. So you guys just attack directly. Odysseus is waiting for Christmas. In fact, you know what? Damn it. Get. 
Get out of his group. Now, join the Rattlesnakes group. And attack. Join squad. They're still just fucking sitting there. I don't understand what the deal is. What the major issue is. It worked so good the first time. Something got screwed up. Probably be, had something to do with me changing those global orders right in the middle of the fight, and it probably just threw everything out of whack. Zero percent. Got an annoying little bug in front of us that needs to be swatted. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, he's like stuck in my ship. I can't even move. Okay, well. Let me pause that. For goodness sakes. Um, yeah, I mean the first the first attack went very smoothly. This one just I don't know what the hell, man. Uh it, it's gotta be like what I was saying, that it just you know, me changing the global settings or, you know, the reaction settings in the middle of it must have just broke the AI because they, uh, they didn't join me. <laughs> so I had to do it all myself. Uh, so what else is new, right? All right, guys. Well, anyway, let's see what's, what's coming up here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our fleet uh, up to Heretic's end uh or whatever heretic something or other where's that at it's over here heretic's end yeah and we're gonna build a defense platform uh Well, you know what I might do, actually? Hmm. <clears throat> if by the time we get up there, the split still have this sector, because it does have a wharf, we might actually set up at this gate instead it's just that the, the the downside to doing that is you know the xenon could still come through here but it doesn't look like they've really done anything well i can't really tell because i haven't been up there for a very long time so these systems could totally have been taken over you know by the xenon i don't know i think i think we'd probably better play it safe and just put the the defense platform in front of this gate um, so that's the next thing on the agenda. And then once that's in place, we're going to go. Family crit, family here. I'm like the wrong direction. We're probably going to go secure this gate at family newt. Or I might actually see if I can retake uh, Family Jin. Because if we can retake them, well, we'd also... No, actually, Matrix 79B can't get into this system directly. So, if we could retake Family Jin, I don't know. I, I'm going to have to think about it. I'm going to have to think about the best way to handle this. 
Uh, but we'll, we're going to come up here and we're going to set some defensive gates down, take out some stations with our new fleet, and you know try and push the Xenon back a little bit. So that is the plan, Stan. Excuse me. <sighs> but I need to go to bed. And so I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.